Hi folks, this is Daily Spirit for Youth, a daily devotional that helps you grow closer to God and apply to His Word to your life. Today's reading entitled, No Ordinary GPS, written by Pastor Hiskia Gunawan, based on Psalm chapter 16. I will read verse 11. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. The use of GPS, or Global Positioning System, while traveling not only guides us to our destination, it also provides information about the road options with the fastest travel time. But sometimes people actually get lost, even get into accidents because they follow it. Although the distance traveled is closer, it turns out that the road indicated by the GPS cannot be passed by the vehicle so that the driver has an accident. Unlike the, G- the way GPS works, David testifies in Psalm 16 that the path the Lord tells him is the path of life. This path is not always smooth and fast. There were times when David had to face various enemies and threats or go around in circles. But David testified that the Lord kept him from harm along the way. Even on this path, the Lord was always at his right hand so that he would not be shaken. This is similar to the Israelites' journey out of Egypt. They had, they had to go round and round in the wilderness for 40 years, even though there was, there was a faster way to reach the land of Canaan. Folks, God's path is it's not a path that speeds us to our destination. His path is shown so that we can stay alive and gain salvation. Following God's path sometimes requires us to choose unpopular and ineffective ways, even seeming to fence in our free will. Free will. But this is how God keeps us from falling into the abyss we cannot see. Follow the path God shows you, not only fast, but safe. You can ponder these two questions. First one is, how does the psalmist describe God as the guardian of his life? Second, what are the challenges to believing in God's path? Please share your thoughts on the comment section below or you can comment on other people's thoughts. Now let us pray. Did Lord lead us to trust and be faithful to your path even when it is unpopular? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you feel blessed through this devotional, please like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive blessings every day. God bless you.